What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Dicky does audio here. Hey, I've always used T nuts in any of the the subwoofer builds that I've done, any of the box builds and stuff like that. Um, Lowe's was out of them. I couldn't find them anywhere. This is just an old spare one that I had laying around. Um, so I, I, I'm using the inserts now, that the threaded inserts that you can use. And I've never used them before. And so I thought I would give them a shot. And I have to say so far, these, they're, they're pretty sweet. They're pretty easy to install. Um, I wanna explain to you guys the differences between, um, the difference between what I do whenever I would go ahead and install my, my T-nut and from whenever I would install one of these inserts. So basically, whenever I would install my T-nuts, I would put my glue around this part of the, the T-nut, slide it up in the back hole right here that I would pre-drill, and then I would get something like a washer, put my screw inside of the, this is, this is obviously a cable fitting, but a washer is really what you want to use on this. And you just run this through here, and take your drill and you drill this down in and it, it draws that t-nut in up up inside of the the mdf inside the wood and with it being glued it won't come back out and that's that's the way that i found to do it and it was the easiest now these threaded inserts oh man these these things are so nice this little threaded insert this is super easy so far i i haven't obviously tested the strength of them yet whenever i go to tighten the subwoofers down inside of there um you know and hopefully these don't rip out but i don't think they will i wasn't too sure about using them on mdf but i looked and i seen a video or two and it says it's all right so but with these you just do the same thing you get your drill bit which is basically the same size as the, the threaded insert. Drill your hole out. I like to, I, I reamed out the, the top half just a tiny bit so I can have a good way to, I can start this with my fingers and make sure it's kind of even. And once I get it going, Boom, just like that. Now this is perfect. It's so much easier than the T-nuts ever were. So I personally will probably start using these threaded inserts as long as I don't have any issues with them. Um, so, but so far, the threaded inserts are the way to go. So if you're interested in stuff like this, you know, DIY subwoofer builds, home theater, home audio, things like that, um, hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button and uh, drop me a comment. So, but until next time, thanks.